Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here. And uh, we've been doing a series on how God's Word is an antidote for everything and anything that might be damaging to the life of a believer. Um, one of the things that can be damaging to a believer is self-deception. Where the believer is so deceived that he or she walks away from God and does not even know that he or she is deceived. Now, the, scripture, uh, the scriptures talk about certain situations where a person can be deceived. A person can deceive oneself. And we see this in the book of James. So we're going to look at uh, James chapter 1. And uh, it, lo it looks at three scenarios where I, you and I can be self-deceived. Right? Uh, here's scenario number 1. James chapter 1 and verse 13 says, let no one say, when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. And then when, sin, when desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Verse 16, do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Verse 17 talks about how every good gift and every perfect gift comes from him. And there is no shadow of turning. He's the father of lights. So what do we understand from here? You know, when we attribute to God something that is that he does not do, when we attribute falling into temptation and committing sin and we say God made me do it or God is the one who is who has created such an opportunity and he is the one who is causing me to fall, we deceive ourselves. Because God is a God, he's a father of lights and in him there is no variation or shadow of turning. He is good and he intends the good for us. He, he is for us. So that is, uh, uh, we can deceive ourselves, that is one scenario. So what is the antidote? The antidote is the correct picture of God the correct evaluation of God. Uh, know God as scripture describes him. Know God as God introduces himself through the words of scripture, which means that the word of God needs to be in us so that we won't be self-deceived. The second scenario is, uh, is, is, is something that we see in James chapter 1 and verse 22. It says, But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. So this is another scenario where we can deceive ourselves. How? When we hear God's word, but we do not apply or we do not obey or we have no intention of carrying out. You know, it could be for an intellectual you know, appeal. Maybe we just critique God's word. We just listen to God's word, but we have no intention of applying or we, we fail to apply or carry out God's word. Now, in such, a, uh, in such a case, we deceive ourselves, where we think that we are living God's word out, but in reality, we are not. So all that God's word can bring into our lives, it isn't actually not happening. Faith comes by God's word. Correct understanding of God comes from his word. Right? Instruction, which the Holy Spirit can quicken to our hearts, comes from His Word. So if we just hear and if we don't apply it, we are deceiving ourselves. Right? The third um, area where we can deceive ourselves is again, we, we see in James chapter 1 and it's, it says, uh, verse 26, If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. So verse 26 says that if you think you are spiritual or religious and if you're following God, but you don't, do not bridle your tongue, you not rein in your words. You know, there is a loose talk, there's unedifying talk, maybe there is, um, uh, there is you know, a vulgar language, filthy language, and maybe there is blessing and cursing. We deceive ourselves. And the antidote is this, I need to align my words with what God says, with the truth of God's word. So uh, as we pray, may it be a time of reflecting and may it be a time of just coming back to God, 
and saying, Lord, I do not want to have or I do not want to deceive myself in these areas. Let your word be my antidote. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you that in all these areas where we can deceive ourselves, Lord, we thank you for warning us, even as we step in and carry out what you've called us to do, that that will be the right antidote for self-deception. And Lord, may we experience the power of your word, the truth of your word, today, even as we apply it in our lives. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.